Hello everyone, this is Kevin Ann at Eagle Strong Voice. It's Monday, November 20th, 2023. Well, on the west coast of Canada in Vancouver, a very historic trial concluded today and issued a verdict and a sentence against 36 top officials of church, state, and the judiciary and found them guilty of perpetrating genocide, trafficking children, and killing at least seven people. Here are the details. After a six weeks trial in Vancouver, 36 people were convicted by the West Coast Commonwealth Court of Justice and sentenced to jail terms ranging from 10 years to life imprisonment. And the West Coast Commonwealth Court of Justice, as a citizen tribunal under international law, has legal standing, and its verdicts can be enforced by the courts. Some of the people who were sentenced and found guilty today include Charles Windsor, so-called King of England, Jorge Bergoglio, so-called Pope Francis, and former Canadian Prime Minister Jean Chrétien. The offenders were also stripped of their offices and assets and ordered to pay reparations to their victims and their families totaling over $40 million. Now you can read the sentence and the verdict of the court at murderbydecree.com under ITCCS updates today, November 20, 20th uh, heading. Now the uh, significance of this trial is that it was monitored by international jurists and by Interpol. And together, the court and these agencies are issuing international arrest warrants today against all of those who were convicted. The trial of the defendants began in Vancouver on September 29th after they were publicly indicted for complicity in murder, criminal conspiracy and assault, and trafficking and killing children. The court prosecutor charged the accused with the murder of Vancouver Indigenous activists Harriet Nahani, William Coombs, Ricky Lavalle, and Johnny Bingo Dawson and Port Alberni residents Mark Angus, Krista Lynn, and John Sargent. The uh, prosecutor also charged the accused with participating in an ongoing criminal conspiracy as and assault against Kevin Annett to obstruct justice, enable and conceal genocide, and further their criminal deeds. During the six weeks tr of the trial, none of the defendants contested, challenged, or refuted the evidence brought against them. Three of the accused pleaded not guilty of the to the court but didn't defend themselves. But the fact that they pleaded to the court meant that for the first time international common law courts of justice were recognized as being courts of legal standing and that has great significance in terms of the enforceability of the verdict. As a tribunal of conscience under international law these verdicts are universally enforceable and can be acted on not only by other courts and nations but by the citizens themselves who are empowered to arrest the convicted offenders and seize their assets. A complete list of the convicted offenders and their sentences are online at murderbydecree.com under ITCCS updates, November 20th posting. And there'll be further updates on our regular show, bbsradio.com slash who we stand every Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Now, just in the way of comment, the a number of the people convicted were a group of United Church clergy and officials who were responsible for the destruction of my life and the murder of six of the people who we have mentioned. All of these people were members and are members of what's known as the 12 Mile Club, which is an offshore child murder and trafficking cult operating out of the Vancouver Club, to which all of these United Church officials and ministers are members. When we began to expose that crime, that's one of the things that prompted them to move against me and the other people that they were responsible killing, the indigenous activists and members of my congregation in Port Alberni, who we've listed. Also, a kill order was issued against William Coombs by Charles Mountbatten Windsor, present King of England, and an extensive black ops campaign launched against me at the same time by Peter Montague on behalf of the Crown and other agencies. Peter Montague is head of the covert ops division of the RCMP in British Columbia, was given over $9 million between the years 2000 and 2009 to commence black operations against me and the others. So these are some of the facts that are being brought out. Now the job is to enforce the verdict. We'll be applying in other courts for warrants to arrest these individuals and the community enforcement law allows anybody to take action against these individuals. We have a Magna Carta common law right and duty to do so. The warrants will be posted at the site I mentioned, murderbydecree.com, under ITCCS updates. Thank you.